as I do. Uh, which was interesting and challenging, especially with Garot Rogue. But I went 64 and 46. Um, not my best climb. Only six games shorter than my climb last month. But uh, just a quick debriefing of what I thought the day one meta looked like and what I was playing into and what worked for me and hopefully maybe this will work for you. Um, the first deck I tried right off the bat was Garot Rogue. Um, I shared this code in an earlier video and it's unchanged from my Legend deck um, last month. The big change being, of course, the Treasure Distributor buff, which uh, for me, this card automatically is in the top three for the best one drops in the game standard i don't know maybe it's not as good in standard but in wild it's absolutely flat busted um and it's probably in third place behind patches and void touch attendant and since it can't quite push past the void touch attendant um i really love uh i really love this guy in there on my climb um I really struggled with this deck early on initially. I found that um, I was queuing into a lot of mirrors, which is very draw dependent. And so I was going win one, lose one, win one, lose one. I ended up giving up on it at nine and eight, but we'll return to that in a minute. And so I started trying other stuff out. I was probably in bronze or gold, but again, I probably had, you know, 9x, 8x bonus still left. So I tried Miracle Rogue, and I went one and one with that. The game that made, convinced me that I was kind of barking up the wrong tree was um, I had a really sick turn. I made a bunch of Arcane Giants, and a Garot Rogue just wiped me out. So I won one, lost one with that, gave up on that because I felt like I was doing something inferior to what you could be doing. Um, so then I tried my sort of at-home Paladin deck, and I wasn't too impressed by that either, to be completely honest. Um, mostly because I queued into two even paladins, and for whatever reason, I didn't draw my showdowns or my prismatic beams or my zilliaxes, uh, my crusader, my call to arms weren't good enough, and so I lost the mirror mostly to draw. Uh, I wonder if I had sticked with, stuck with this deck, if I would have done better, um, or if I'd played just you know normal basic bitch even even paladin, whether or not that would have improved my mood or thinking of this deck, but it just, it felt once again, sort of inferior to what my opponents playing Garot were doing. So then I switched to Miracle Priest and Miracle Priest got me the majority of my uh, climb. I think I shared, last time I shared the code, I had two palm readings in the deck. I cut the palm readings for a Shadow Word Devour and a Shard of the Naru. I, the Shard of Nar the Naru um, was an idea I actually got from Raxius. I had thought about putting one in, but decided instead of putting one in, um, I would just have two Shadow Word Devours. But having two Devours didn't feel great, and Raxia said that she had tried one Shard of the Naru, which felt good for just cycling sometimes just by trading it, but there were actual games that it won, and 100% there were games that this hard carried and won, getting me through a taunt wall, um, debuffing pirates, debuffing totems, um, you know, the yeah. works, that sort of thing. Six. Thank you for the resub, sheep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, on, I'm, I'm doing a thing real quick. Um... And so, um, again, mole for this is pretty simple. Look for Radiant Elemental. Look for uh, Creation Protocol. Nine times out of ten, you're getting a Radiant Elemental with the pro Creation Protocol. But sometimes you really want a Handmaiden. I also started keeping Handmaiden on the coin, especially with Funnel Cake, because you could kind of draw some cards and cheat some mana and, uh, and get some cards in hand for a big Radiant Swing turn. Once you get two Radiants down, pretty much everything in this list is free. And that's when things start getting really goofy. Like, you can end up, like, forging the creation protocol and getting some Grave Horrors and just spamming Grave Horrors. Um, went 38 and 24 with this. I probably would have hit Legend with it. But, um, I don't know. At D3, something weird happened. I started yo-yoing. I started win some, lose some, win some, lose some, win streak, lost streak. Got up to, I think, D2 with this and ultimately stopped playing it at d3 and two stars which is pretty much where i was like two hours after i had reached d3 and two stars so i literally just yo-yoed and placed with this um it was 24 and 10 when i um entered 
post D5, which is typically a little bit of a different meta. There's usually a little bit more aggro. So 24 and 10 would mean I had 14 losses. And yeah, 14 wins. See, there you go. So like I literally just tread water with this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It felt very good, though, climbing to D5. And I imagine as people climb higher up, and if I were to start facing the same sort of greedy decks, I was punishing them pretty well with this. So then I swapped to... Nope. Then I made a mistake and I went to this. And I tried Unholy DK. And Unholy DK felt like a deck that I would eventually get there with if I was on a slower clock. But I really wanted to hit day one. And so I gave up on it pretty quickly. Uh, went two and three. The one, one of my wins was against Norf, who's a hunter legend. Uh, and required a Hearthstone brew to get there, which was pretty sick. Um, but, you know, it was it was Norf and his decks are based. So that was a really fun game to have. But this felt less like a counter to, again, I played a Garot Rogue, and they actually wi absolutely wiped the floor with me. So this felt like less of a counter to what I wanted to play. So I swapped back to Garot Rogue. And I mentioned before I was 9 and 8 at this point with this list before I picked it back up again. Um, I ended up finishing my Legend Climb going uh, 11 and 3. And uh, I don't think I would change a card. I saw some people playing the Filet Fighter. I couldn't figure out what they were cutting because they were also playing the Distributor. I think some people were actually cutting Parachute Brigand. Um, the thinking may be that the Filet Fighter actually kills off and makes more board space and lets you um, cycle harder with a little bit more... With a little bit more uh, push, a little bit more punch. I don't know if I like it. I'll definitely try it. Uh, it looked interesting. And I also saw some like really bad decisions in this deck. But I, I like this 30 as it is. Um, that little tweak may be a side to try out. So um, thank you for tuning in for my Legend Climb debrief. Uh, if I were to rate or think about where I think the meta is right now... Um, I think Garot Rogue is the best deck in the format because it can kind of beat absolutely everything, uh, especially with the right draw. And it kind of does everything, and it pressures harder. Um, I thought the Horror Miracle Priest felt Tier 2-ish. I definitely bullied some stuff, and then stuff bullied me. I was shocked at how bad this was into even Paladin. That was, that was something that really surprised me. Whereas the Garot Rogue could kind of handle even Paladin. And sometimes the even paladin handled the Garot Rogue. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's like Garot or, or Bust if you're looking for what the best deck would be. Um, I also saw a lot of Reno Druids and a lot of Reno Priests, but they kind of just died when I played them. Unless they happened to have an idea of what my play pattern was going to be. In which case, uh, they could disrupt me, or sometimes I did throw. Um, off meta decks, I would take a look at. And Sniff, I think even Druid might be real. As long as you don't queue into Taunt or Face Freeze or Ice Block, but with Ice Block basically deleted from the format. Something like Horror Priest, you know, enjoys that and so does something like Even Druid. Um, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a glass cannon, but when it works, holy crap, get out of the way. Um Bat Mazel absolutely dumpstered me with Kingsbane Rogue while I was playing Karot, and that I've heard is okay and playable and kind of fast. So you could always try your old Kingsbane list and maybe try to work in... Where is she? They do have new cards. Try to work in Valera's Gift, which are like third and fourth copies of... Uh, where's Valera's Gift? Probably towards the end, because it's V. You moron. There we go. Because you could work in third and fourth copies of Deadly Poison, or even a Fan of Knives when you really want to just clear a bunch of uh, duders on one health, which seems pretty okay to me. Um, and as far as other off-meta stuff, those are the two I think I would endorse the most. Maybe Highlander Hunter, though Highlander Hunter is becoming less of a thing. Oh, day one, I saw a lot of warriors. Uh, more warriors than I expected. And like XL Control Warrior or or um, even Warrior didn't look half bad into the aggro decks. Um, I had to really dance around to get the horror done. In any case, that's my, my little meta report. 
and thank you chat for sticking by.